of what if deck you <sighs> got one for all early. So we're going to start this off as a kid, of course, with Deku. Um, still being diagnosed corkless. Um, stored in it. And when if he's protecting that other kid, that's where it's going to happen. So, all my, whenever he gets injury, I must say it hasn't happened yet. But, yeah. And I'm pretty sure it did happen then. But when there were seven, I think it happened. But they're fine in this. And what happens is Deku protects him, gets beat out, beat up. And All Might sees this, walks over and gets some help. And they talk about how he was corkless, and All Might tells him that I didn't, my cork didn't bloom until later in my life. Um, Deku's surprised about this, and All Might asks, what is the first quality of being number one hero? He's, he says the right answer, and that causes All Might to think I should give, I need the candidate early and stuff. So what he does, he tests um, Deku into training his body, which Deku does, and Deku for two years, and the same day of all for one attack, Deku gets one for all, and yeah, then during that day, the whole attack happens, and I'm gonna say Nidai, um, still told him. Nidai is like against giving a little kid his cork, but this is whenever All Might says, but this will help him grow even stronger when he grows up. But Nidai thinks about this, and he says, yeah, probably, and stuff like that. So, Deku can use 3% as a kid, so that automatically makes him stronger than everybody in the school. But yeah, as a kid, but then during the day, um, All Might and All For One battle happens. And this time, because I'm going to say All Might has something even more to fight for to teach Deku, he doesn't get the mark, because I'm going to say because of the change in history and all that caused All Might to have somebody else there to help him in the fight. I'm just gonna say that. So yeah, he wasn't alone, so he doesn't get the injury, but they still beat all for one. And Deku gets taught how to use one for all from All Might and Nidai and stuff like that. So I'm just going to automatically skip to middle school. Because Deku has a court and it's ridiculously strong. Whenever they were kids compared to everybody else's court, it's even stronger now. People know that, at least. But yeah. And whenever the people get handed or the teacher walks and says, Today we're going to give you papers to see, decide your features. And that's when he throws the papers in the air and he says, I know all you want to become heroes. Bakugo still also thinks that he's stronger. Because all he thinks is of Deku's cork is an enhancement. And he says, my cork is stronger than his. Stuff like that. And so, he... Does the same speech in you and the B listers, especially the U, Izuku, or Deku, he still called him. And he still calls him Deku and stuff. And yeah. So yeah, that happens. Deku goes to UA. Whenever people hear that, none of them really laugh because they think that um, Deku's stronger than. Bakugo, even though 
but only reason I'm scared of Bakuya is because Bakuya will attack them. But not as much because I, Deku will protect them from Bakugo like a hero, they say, in their minds. And stuff like that. So, um, Deku is walking down through the sludge villain area under the tunnel. Where he gets there. The sludge villain comes and tries to attack. But I never really gave a percentage to Deku, did I, for a um, middle school? Um, 20%. So minimal shockwaves, pretty much. So he hits the sludge villain, and it burst into a splats everywhere. And so that happened. It splats. That's when All Might runs down court and say, I am here. This is, oh, it's you, Deku, you handle the villain, did you? Thank you. Let's go off. And that's... All oh, Might jumps off while Deku is running on top of buildings. After getting on top of one. Amazing part of Core. And Deku already has full count, of course. Full count and... Um, where else? And he already developed like sort of a street style with fists. So he does use legs and feet because he already came up with that. Instead of you just using your hands or your feet and stuff like that. So yeah, Deku goes on and defeats him. He defeats the Swift Wind twice because I say, oh my, jumped off too high because. They were kind of racing. It looked kind of looked like if anybody else saw it. That's practically what they were doing. But yeah, so that's when you hear explosion, and all that says that I have to get somewhere. You can handle that villain, or stuff like that. Only jumps away. Um. Deku goes over to explosions with control really fastly, and he says, Deku, but Deku, when he sees it's Kanchan, he goes in there and says, Detroit smash the sludge going away while pulling back Bakugo and holding him. And, yeah. He defeats the sludge villain, and this is one of the media starts crowding him and saying, What's your quirk? What's your torque? Please tell us. And stuff like that. And this is one of the Let's see. Oh, my. This came by the area. And he says, He jumps down and he says, Um, he has an enhancement quirk, just like me. We never see All Might, they start scaring for All Might, that's whenever he says, No, 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 the true hero today is this boy, Zuku Midoriya, with a strong enhancement that's gonna become strong, with a strong enhancement cork like mine's. That makes people remember Deku. The sludge villain, the, the kid that defeated the sludge villain, and was praised by All Might because he also had a strong enhancement quirk like him, and stuff like that. So whenever Deku goes back home and stuff, and he tells Mom that he's going to UA and I have to train for 10 months to it, and she says okay because I'm not sure she's used for him for training. And stuff like that. So he trains for UA. He spars with All Might using a shoot style. And stuff like that. And he's practicing counter punches. So, or if somebody's about to hit you, pretty much like you, and you hit them back instantly. I don't really know how to explain it well. But yeah, it's just like a counter. And stuff like that. And I want to say a month 
two, three months into the training, um, all of a sudden, Black Whip activates with Deku giving, getting a dream of people with, you know, users of all for one, or one for all, with, I'm going to say, the one in the back that looks like, that was sitting in the back, and they're all in a row with all my in the front, of course. With one in the back coming up to him, touching him on the forehead, giving him Black Whip. Where he gets in the middle of a battle, Black Whip activates and it starts swirling everywhere and stuff like that. And. Uh, you guys drinking the blood of a bee. Pretty much, um. Um, pretty much what's going on is that my mom's playing loud music for no reason. So I had to cut off my, um, video, so this will kind of, like, sound different. But I was getting on to Black Whip. I did a little more research on Black Whip. But pretty much, um, it's a, I'm pretty sure it's made out of anger and it comes through his arms only, as far as we know. Or at least I know, I'm not sure if everybody knows anymore. But, yeah. It'll pretty much be like a Spider-Man gear. So when this cork activates, it's twisting around and it has this weird glowing aura around it. Making it almost look like it's made out of energy. All Mike sees this while they're sparring. And, no, no, this is one of her deck is asleep. And I'm pretty sure it was the second user of One For All that had a cork. Um, gave it to him. No, only Deku and All Might didn't have a cork. So, yeah. So, yeah. They, um, the next day he goes up to All Might and asks him, um, does All For One give you corks? And he says, <laughs> it can store, it stocks piles, um, powers and quirks it might be able to but I didn't get any quirk. That's whenever Deku activates Black Whip because for only a few seconds because you know how Deku couldn't like spam use Black Whip all the time and stuff like that. He activates Black Whip and how Black Whip actually activates I'm pretty sure is by wanting to grab something. But every time Deku wants to, like, force it to go somewhere, um, it will, it would like, start retracting, he says. So, pretty much, through the weeks, or through the another, um, I'm gonna say two months, Deku learns how to control Black Whoop completely for melee weapons. And for tying up people like um, Izawa's scarf and stuff like that, and I'm pre and all that, so he can tie people up with it, and he can grab people and swing them around like Spider-Man, kind of like a Venom. So what I really want to do is change his hoodie, parts of his like suit into black and stuff like that. But I, I'm not that good at doing anything like that. But yeah. And pretty much. Um, yeah. So his suit will look a little different. And instead of having those ears, it won't have those ears, but it will have the mask. But what I'm going to give it to him is a support gear item, which he requested personally. And it's kind of like a radar, pretty much. It's pretty much a location radar. So you know how we have like tunnel vision? But it's kind of how... Have you guys ever heard the explanation why you need the Shinigun to be able to use the Chidori? It's because you're going at such high speeds that you get tunnel vision. So because I'm going to say... Um, um, all for one does enhance your senses like you're seeing and all that. So I guess it could make your eyes kind of like the shining on, but 
you know how they can like have to look sideways completely just to like notice that there's somebody punching them from the side pretty much this goggles that I'm gonna say are in form of glasses that he wears all the time um pretty much counteract that and stuff so he because Black Whip throws him across rooms at such high speeds that it will cause tunnel vision because the speeds are well beyond nor one for all's normal limit so like your prone your vision's just as strong as it just is just as strong as how fast you are be able to see pretty much so yeah this counteracts the tunnel vision and they spar the rest of the time getting used to his cork and because I don't know any other corks that he's going to get from the other six. That's the only cork I was going to give him. But he learns parkour. I'm going to say he meets Green Torino and all that. And he mixes this in with his whips. As like Spider-Man and stuff. That's going to be it for this video.